Happy New Year, everybody! We are all waiting for the Academy to announce its uh, nominations. And uh, I want to tell you what I thought about the animated films this year, and which ones I think have a chance to be nominated for Best Animated Feature. Let's start with Frozen, since I haven't seen it yet. It will premiere the 31st in my country, and I am really looking forward to it. But uh, it does look like uh, it will be nominated. Uh, it's a Disney movie, it's a musical, it's well animated, and the critic seems to like it. So it's pretty certain it will get nominated. Now to my favorite animated movie of the past year, Despicable Me 2. I liked the first one, but I absolutely loved this one. The first one was about Gru becoming a father. Uh, this one is about what kind of father he will be. I love all the new characters, uh, the jokes are funny, and I like that it uh, took focus on another one of the girls this time. But I don't think it will be nominated. The first one wasn't nominated, so the chances are uh, that this one won't either. It's not impossible, it's just very unlikely. Epic, a film from Blue Sky that has become one of my favorite animation studios. Uh, I liked most of the characters, I really liked the daughter-father relationship, and the animation is stellar. The only big problem is that uh, the story has too many loopholes, and the love interest is such a douche. Uh, it was mostly liked by critics and uh, will probably be nominated. It has uh, both a lot of funny moments and a lot of serious moments too. Which is something that the Academy uh, do like in animated features. I liked it, uh, just not as much as Ryu or the first two Ice Age movies. But yeah, keep up the good work Blue Sky. Monsters University. I really like this movie. I don't think it was as good as uh, Monster Shink, but I think it was better than Brave and Cars 2. Uh, the jokes are funny all the way through the movie, uh, and there are several scenes that uh, uh, are very touching. Uh, some of them almost make, made me cry. Uh, it's like one of those classic Pixar movies, uh, and it's pretty certain it will get nominated. The Crods, or was it The Grods? I can't pronounce the name. Uh, I didn't like this movie very much. I mean, it had some funny jokes and the animation was good, but I felt uh, the film spent too much time uh, joking around and not enough time telling a story or develop the characters. But a lot of people did like it, uh, including the critics, so it has a pretty good chance. Turbo, another film from DreamWorks. For me, this was a guilty pleasure. I mean, the story was complete shit, but I liked these characters. Uh, the main character was this sassy smartass. Uh, this team of racing snails were all uh, very funny and very memorable. And the other characters was also likable. But that doesn't really make it Oscar worthy. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. The first movie is one of my favorite animated movies ever. But I didn't really care for this one. Its biggest problem is that it tries to teach us so many messages. Trust your friends, save the environment, don't underestimate your elders, don't blindly follow your idols. But it doesn't give enough uh, time to explore any of them, so in the end it just doesn't feel important. Uh, the characters from the first movie are still very likable. Uh, but I hated all the new ones. Uh, still, it has a great sense of creativity with all these uh, different food creatures, and the animation still works for this kind of film. Uh, I don't think it is bad, it's just underwhelming. Critics uh, did like it, and since the first one was nominated, it has a reasonably good chance of getting nominated this year. Last film I want to talk about is Disney's Planes. Let's start with what I liked about it. The main character is very likable and so is his, uh, you know, his crew. Especially the two forklifts, Dotty and Sparky. Uh, one thing I love about all the Cars movies is that there is a nice sense of uh, 
creativity that comes with animation. That is great, by the way. Uh, there is one scene here where we uh, see gliding planes as birds, which was very cool. Um, for the bad, the story is very cliche. I mean, it's basically surfs up with planes. Um, also, all the other racing planes in this are fucking assholes, and the two that aren't is incredibly annoying. Uh, I guess I liked more what this could become rather than what it is. There is a backflash here with an old fighting plane named Skipper when he was uh, in war and a lot of planes actually gets blown up and I just got this idea for a sequel in my head. Um, you know, let us make it about fighting planes, you know, and have, uh, have like uh, FF Raptors and uh, uh, predators uh, in the air shooting each other down uh, and you know make them the characters that that I think would be so freaking awesome um, but we're not here to talk about my theoretical uh, sequel we are here to talk about planes overall I did like it but most critics didn't uh, so it will probably not be nominated uh, I think what I really missed in this year's animated features was some variety. I mean, we didn't get any 2D animated movies or stop motion, uh, just a lot of CGI movies. Not that CGI is bad, I just wish we could uh, see something different, uh, you know, sometimes. There were some other movies uh, that came out this past year uh, that wasn't uh, exactly popular and I don't think they will be nominated anyway. And yes, I will probably eat those words later when they actually announce the nominations. So if I would bet the five movies to be nominated for best animated feature this year will probably be Frozen, Monsters University, Epic, The Crods and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. If you want to know when I will do my uh, top 20 favorite uh, movies of 2013, uh, I will do that list in March when I will hopefully have seen all the films I wanted to see that came out in 2013. This is all for this time. What movies do you think will be nominated for best animated feature? Leave a comment below and have a pleasant year.